Hey guys, so if you remember, uh, about four months ago, um, I made probably one of the worst performing videos on my channel, um, in four months, obviously, um, and that was this update to my to make better Roblox games. Now, while the video does not, didn't do well, it's actually a very important update that Roblox brought out that I was very happy about, and that was tearless payouts, and, um, the reason I'm talking about tearless payouts is because Roblox have actually given developers a new way to earn money again, which is incredible. Roblox is actually doing good for developers, like they're doing really good in the developing community. And I'm actually really proud of Roblox because I feel like the, without developers there would be nothing. They would be absolutely nothing. And I'm really proud that developers are getting the chance, especially smaller developers out there. If you had to name your developers right now, I would probably know all those developers you name. And and that's sad because we 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 need to reach out or we need to promote other developers so that Roblox can continually grow as a platform. But this is definitely gonna inspire many developers to do more things. Now this is called premium payouts. So I'm on the Roblox um, dev forum, and um, this is a announcement post by uh, Calypso3, um, who is a member of the Roblox staff. So let me just read what it is, and then obviously I'll give my opinion at the end. Hey developers, as you know, we've been rolling out a lot of awesome updates to the Roblox economy, like tearless cash outs and Roblox Premium. These updates are part of a large goal to help people build financially successful and sustainable business on Roblox. We teased it at RCD 2019, and today we're excited to announce a new way you can make money from your games. Premium payouts. What are premium payouts? It's in the very early stages, so it will evolve over time. But basically, you earn Roblox based on how engaging your game is. We use time spent by premium subscribers as a proxy to calculate playtime. We use that to calculate playouts. Payouts, sorry. Payouts are awarded constantly to the all developers, regardless of, of scale of their player base. This means that a unit of premium time spent is rewarded with the same amount of Robux, no matter the size of your game. If you already monetize your game with game passes and developer products, you'll receive premium payouts on top of what you're already earning. The more engagement your game receives or achieves, sorry, the more it will be paid out. Now this is incredible. If you have premium and you go play a game and the developer that is there obviously uh, the developer that made the game um, has premium payouts on you are giving them money by playing the game that is amazing that is amazing now um, imagine if you had to like Bloxburg for example imagine how much money Cryptus will made. Actually, I'm not really sure if that's a good idea to have premium payouts on top of, um, you know, of, of paid games, but whatever. I still think that's an incredible, this is that, that this is an incredible update. Like, incredible. <clears throat> so this is really how it works. I hope you guys understand this. Um, because it looks pretty complicated from what I can see, but I, I don't know. Let's see. So the premium playtime score is based on how much premium users play your game on any given day. It is a great metric to get immediate feedback on the impact of new in-game features on time premium users spend in your game. This is not directly used in the calculation of premium payouts, but it shows similar trends. So if you release a new feature and your playtime score goes up for many days in a row, it is likely that you will see movements in your payouts. Okay, so premium playtime score is just how many premium users um, play your game on a given day. Okay, so premium playtime Robux earned reflects how much you can expect to be paid for user engagement. Note this is not based on daily time spent by premium users, but looks back at aggregates aggregates each premium user's behavior over the past 28 days. As such, it has no 
direct mathematical relationship with the playtime score, although presents similar trends. So if you're interested in offering benefits to premium subscribers, check out the premium purchase model. This model lets players buy premium to access benefits in your game without ever leaving your game which is actually pretty sick so literally if you so, so you know like you get those robux pop-ups for example if you go to i can't think of a game right now so you know if i have a game up and um you want to go buy a car then you get that pop-up that says oh pay 20 robux to be able to drive this car you know that kind of thing and you can buy or decline this decline oh my word decline um based on what you want if you want to buy that car you click buy now and then it's already gone the robux gets taken out you don't have to leave the game and you get an item so this is the same thing that they um making it with premium so that if you go to a specific place or something like that you can buy premium in the game without ever leaving which is actually incredible actually incredible i love that um then there's also premium game discovery. We're working on new ways to surface games that are popular among premium subscribers. This is still in the works, so stay tuned. Okay, that could definitely help some. Okay, I could I could, I could see that happening. I can see that happening. Um, I don't think it will really be relevant, <laughs> to be honest. But you know what? I don't think that's that's too bad. Okay. Um, every game is still eligible. Eligible for premium payouts except for paid access games. Okay, so that obviously de declines the theory earlier about Bloxburg making very much a, a lot of money. They already made a lot of money because, geez. If your game is paid access, you will still have a premium playtime score, but will not have a corresponding payout. Okay, that's a good thing. At least they're able to still see. Look, because if they were to release the game they'll be like oh how are we gonna make money how are we gonna make money how are we gonna make money and i think that's something that um a lot of paid access games are scared of like how are we still gonna make money but you'll be able to see on the premium uh playtime score that you will be able to make money using premium payouts if your game comes out of paid access so i'm just want to answer some frequently asked questions or at least the ones that are on the dev forum um and yeah so how is the premium pay time score calculated premium play time score is determined by the proportion of time premium subscribers spend in your game premium play time score is calculated daily which i think is pretty cool instead of calculating it on like over a week or something like that i think that's really cool why is there a 28 day delay on payouts you receive premium payouts on a daily basis 28 days after each major day for example you will receive your payout for february 19th engagement on march 18th which is 28 days later and february 20th engagement on march 19th also 28 days later Payouts lag behind engagement by a month because we look at a player's engagement for the entire month of their subscription. This allows us to give you a proportion of their membership fee for that month. The lag also helps ensure that the payout is not affected by refunds or other payment complications. Now that is actually incredible. I really like that. Now you might be saying, Keegan, why do you like that? That is actually trash. Think about this for a second. Say for some weird reason, I don't know why you would. Say you release a game on January 1st, alright? You will get your first premium payout on February 1st. That's a month. Or, or, or no, you won't. Sorry, what am I saying? You'll get your first payout on January 28th. Alright, guys, that's your first premium payout. From then on, you're going to keep getting paid. Or at least from what I see. Because, let's think about this. Um... I'll use Roblox example instead because they just make more sense. If you have February 19th, you have engagement, you'll receive that engagement 28 days later. If you have February 20th engagement, you will have, again, 28 days later. You're constantly receiving money from premium payouts, which is incredible. Which is incredible. Now, I'm not saying this is easy to do because, I mean... Getting players is one thing. Getting premium pay players is a whole different story. I'm kidding. It's not really. But premium players just have that. Um, Gucci rep. Why did I say that? How many? Uh, uh, I can't read. How are my premium payout robux earned? 
Ready to my premium playtime score. Your premium playtime score gives you an early directional indication of how your premium payout will change next month. However, the relationship is not exact because your premium playtime score is calculated on a daily basis, but your payout is calculated often the entire past month. Why aren't pay games eligible for premium payouts? We want to enable a frictionless experience for premium subscribers so that the game Games that charge for access are currently not included in premium payouts. That makes sense. How much can I expect to be paid? You can use a premium payout chart to anticipate how much you can expect each month. So yeah, it's obviously a statistical thing. You have to keep checking your game statistics um, in order to see really what you could be earning. How long should I wait to see my impact premium payouts will have for me? We recommend being patient when testing premium payouts and experiment with it, test new features to increase engagement, tweak them, and use dashboards to measure impact. Give it a few months in order to see how premium payouts benefit you. It's definitely going to benefit you in the long run. Um, I'm not saying you're going to be rich if you use premium payouts. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying it's going to help you massively. All right, Because even with... While well, I did admit it's a good feature, tearless cash out you still need a hundred thousand robux earned not bought earned to get real life money so you know eh, 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 eh. you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying um yeah it's just that kind of thing honestly and um yeah yeah, I think you should wait quite a long time. Remember, again, at least Roblox says it here that you should be patient. Like, that's a good thing. Just quickly, something that I also want to mention earlier. Um, it said something about you get a proportion of their membership fee for that month. So, Roblox isn't really losing anything doing this, eh? So they've made a good update, but they're also not losing any valuable resources in this update. Now that, right there, is incredible. That is what you call a good update, fam. Like, Roblox really needs to release more good updates like this, fam, and Um, Why is my premium payout Robux earned? line dotted your premium payout robux earned line will initially be dotted because we are showing you a prediction of how much robux you will earn from that day of premium play time in your game we'll need a month to process your robux earned to make sure that the amount is accurate once we've finished analyzing the robux earned line for that day will be included in your pending robux okay so it's kind of like if you um buy something from your own group you have to wait three days to get that robux in that group now it's kind of the same thing here you have to wait a month in instead they're gonna obviously make sure that it's real that your amount is accurate etc 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 so i think that's very clever very smart of roblox to do um and you might see a month again but it's really not that bad it's really not that bad in my opinion do i need to do anything specific to receive premium payouts. If your game is already popular among premium subscribers, you will receive a payout without having to change your game. As premium subscribers spend more time on your game, you should see payouts increase. Okay, so you should obviously like let premium subscribers do something special or something. Um, and hopefully you'll get more premium payouts. Now, I opinion on this, I think that this is an incredible update if you cannot tell already. Um, so really, Roblox, well done. I think this is going to in inspire many people, many, many, many people to um to make more Roblox games. And just, I think that's amazing. I think that Roblox is inspiring talent that hasn't been found yet by releasing these developer concentrated updates. And I think that Ro Roblox is showing that they really care for the developing community. Um, after last year, I know a lot of developers felt like Roblox just didn't care. They just didn't care. Despite releasing quite a bit of uh, Luar and Roblox Studio related updates. Um, now they're starting to actually reach more into the money side. And how you can own a business on Roblox or you can make Roblox your job you know maybe not full time but you can definitely make roblox your job which i think is 
absolutely incredible so yeah really good job to Ro um, roblox let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and um yeah um, as for my subscribers i'm really sorry i haven't been sticking to the schedule like i promised um yeah it's just been really really hectic but i do have a video planned for next week hopefully so hopefully there will be a video up on wednesday but i don't really know yet so just stay in tune guys i promise i'm going to get my youtube stuff sorted to make sure it's a priority and yeah and thank you guys again for watching be sure to like and subscribe and i guess we'll see you in the next video yeah gamer